Hey, so good morning or good afternoon, uh, fig people, depending on where in the country. This is uh, Kevin Lynch, and uh, I've been doing long-term care since I got into practice over, well, just about 15 years ago. Uh, it's very much a part of my practice, and if you haven't been using long-term care or you don't have it ingrained in your practice, to me, you really can't be doing holistic financial planning if you're not doing that. Uh, this is definitely one of those risk mitigators and as I tell my clients, if you don't have a long-term care policy, well, then you really do. You're going to spend down all the assets you have for a care event for one of you. And that may not be such a good strategy. So uh, I work with the gang there at FIG, uh, Alicia's team. They're like an extension of my team here. They're extremely responsive. Uh, I don't run il any illustrations. So if that's holding some people up on the phone, uh, I send a, I shoot a note over to the gang with Alicia, and uh, back comes my illustration that night or the next morning, depending how late in the day I send it over. Um, I'm extremely happy using them in that capacity, and they are very, very willing to help, and really an extension of the office. So if that's holding you up that I don't have time to run illustrations, well, do you have, a time to, do you have the time to send an email? Because that's really all it takes. Um, uh, for those that you know, are looking to get involved in doing long-term care, I would do a class on it. I, I, I'm very big into education. Uh, if you want to figure out a way of, you know, how to get it implemented into your practice, start a class, you know, do a Zoom class on the different ways you can get long-term care and just don't mention any companies or products. Just make it very, very uh, neutered, if you will, and then folks will call you and they'll ask you questions about it. And then it just leads into a regular discussion. Well, why don't you come in for a meeting? So, you know, to use it for holistic planning, I think that's the first reason to have long-term care. Um, secondly, uh, and let's not uh, uh, disregard this one, people need this. They need this coverage. Uh, my mom was in a facility. She just passed away in April. My father-in-law, um, she did not have long-term care <laughs> because when I first got in the business, I said to my mom, I said, hey, Ma, you don't want to get how Nana got. Now, Nana was her mother, and Nana had dementia, full-blown dementia, by the time she was 68. Very early, yep, early onset. So I said, hey, you don't want to get like Nana. Do you know what my own mother said to me? She said, oh, I'm not going to get like that. I mean, how do you know? How do you know? Well, she did get like that. My father-in-law also... Uh, had long-term care. He did have a long-term care policy and uh, he had dementia and thank goodness we had the policy for him. It really worked well. Um, the other reason I think, the third reason I'd say to have um, be in this business of long-term care protection is the tremendous satisfaction you get to help people. And you know in that regard I just want to tell you a little bit of uh, a policy that I sold um, back in February of 2017, it was an asset care, One America program. Um, and my client, uh, February of 2017, so, you know, I don't know, three years ago, in May of 2019, okay, so a little over two years later, um, they were on vacation. He was 74 at the time, she was 64, and they were on vacation down in Cape May, uh, New Jersey. And they were on their bikes and uh, took a break, took their helmets off, took a break. And there was a kiosk maybe 50 yards away of different maps of the area that you could bike. And Alan said, hey, I'm just going to scoot over there and, and get the, the maps. And, and Celia, uh, uh, his wife, said, Alan, put your helmet on. Uh, no, no, I'm just going, you know, the 50 yards or whatever. Sure enough, his foot got tied up in his pedal. And he went down and did a header right into the curb. Um, no helmet, just straight cracked uh, his, his cranium on the curb. And now he has uh, permanent brain damage. And um, they made use of the policy uh, in May of 2019. And that just, just over two years uh, since I had sold the policy to them. And uh, just a way of this, <laughs> um, I got a note <clears throat> from her. Um, I want to get in touch with how thankful I am for many wonderful people in my life. And your name came to the top of my list, Kevin. Uh, you've really helped me so much. And if you hadn't gotten me that great long-term care One America policy, 
Alan wouldn't be having the care that he has today. You have such a good heart, Kevin, and mind, and I'm grateful I found you. Of course, you have a wonderful staff as well. So if notes like these are ones that you'd like to receive uh, from your uh, clients, and they really appreciate what you do, and they do, um, go ahead and sell long-term care. You won't be sorry. Be well.